Some confuse them for big mosquitoes and others think they feast on them, but so-called mosquito eaters or crane flies are their own species and mosquitoes aren't on the menu. KXAN's Tom Miller talked with entomologist Wizzy Brown about why we're seeing a burst of them right here in Central Texas. People in Austin, people in Central Texas are starting to see these crane flies out and about. Why are they, why are they so populous suddenly? It's that time of year. Uh, typically, they show up in early spring when it starts to warm up, and we will start seeing large numbers of them. So I kind of call them the groundhogs of Texas. So it's a good sign. Spring is on its way. And as far as where we see them, everywhere. <laughs> they kind of seem to inundate all populations. But the immatures are going to be in the soil, and they like moist soil. And then the adults are going to be out and kind of flying around looking for mates. And what is their purpose? Where do they fit in into the bigger eco ecosystem? And, and where do they fit into the food chain? So their purpose for them is to mate and pass on their genetic information. But for the bigger picture of the world, they are a great food source and fit into food chains and food webs. Uh, birds, reptiles, other insects, all sorts of stuff can eat them. And there are certain things that people can do, maybe unintentionally, that can attract them. So if you're not a bug person, what advice do you have? First of all, become a bug person because bugs are awesome. Secondly, if you don't want them around your house, I would recommend that you make sure that your doors and windows are having a tight seal, screens on the windows. And then another thing, check your lighting. You might want to turn your porch light off at night because a lot of times that can attract insects and that's right by the door, which can lead them inside. All right. Entomologist Wizzy Brown, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.